I'm tight. Wait, I'm tight. Yeah. I'm tight. Yeah. 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 Um, Let's pull the straight into a warm up from um, those cheesy jokes. One round, very similar to the warm up that we did on Monday. There's just a small tweak there. You're basically doing um, a movement on the side and then you're going to the other side. This time you're doing it for 30 seconds. Okay, so no um, specified amount of reps, moving for 30 seconds. So, first up, you're going to do deck lifts on the one side. So, within 30 seconds, Chance, it's a warm up. You don't have to go for as many reps as you can. Rather focus on form, focus on warming up those muscles and activating the proper muscles, okay? So getting your bum back, keeping your back nice and straight, touching that weight to the floor. After 30 seconds, just throw that weight into your other hand and you're doing the same thing, all right? With these, try, with all of these movements, keep your torso nice and center, okay? And you do that by keeping your tummy nice and tight, okay? Once you've completed your deadlifts on both sides, you're going to go into hand power cleans on both sides. So, hand power clean goes from the knee and you are shrugging that weight up onto your shoulder. Beautiful. Okay. Going back down. Chaps, with this one, you really want to focus to not swing it. You just want to shrug it up. So, you're putting your shoulder up to your ear and you're bouncing it onto your shoulder. Okay. Beautiful. 30 seconds on the one side, then 30 seconds on the other side. Then we're going to go over into front squats, same vibes, putting it on everyone's shoulder, accumulating the reps within the 30 seconds, not going out for leather, just moving through it. Don't let the weight pull you forward, keep your torso nice and upright. Then the next movement is strip presses, so again, 30 per side, getting that weight onto your shoulder, pressing it through, getting your head through at the top, finishing with your arm nice and close to your ear, and making sure that you keep that midline connection so you're keeping your tummy tight. Our final movement for our warm up is nothing on a 1500 jumping jacks, masters and jumping jack start position as we all know it. And from there, it's going to spin it on, nice big circles because you want to warm up those shoulders while jumping with this at the same time. 50 reps, very nice. All right. Then from there, we're going to jump straight into a new warm-up, which is called 10, all right? You're going to see the main thing that we're going to be working on here is clusters. I'll explain the movement to you in a second. But essentially, we're starting with 10 reps on clusters. Then we've got a run or a variation for a run. Then we're going to go from nine clusters back to that run, eight clusters back to that run, all the way down to one rep, okay? So every time that you've completed your set of clusters, you are either going to do a 200 meter run or 20 10 meter shuttles or 30 mountain climbs. Okay, so if you don't want to go around outside, those are your options. Now, for the cluster, you if you've got two weights, you do them with two weights at the same time. You only one, no stress, use your own weights. Okay, so you're going to start by touching the weight on the floor. Okay, so that's where your movement starts. You go into a squat clean. So you shrug it up and catch it in a squat. And from, from there, you're gonna press it up all the way like you with a thruster. Okay, that is a thruster. So again, we're just gonna go back to the floor, shrug it up into that squat and up. Beautiful. Okay, that's perfect, James. So you are doing 10 of those, then you do your run and you move through the rest like that. Okay. So with these, normally by the time I think it's like somewhere through round eight, you're already halfway through. So the round of eight, you're already halfway through. So don't stress about it too much. Get through those first few, few rounds and then you can really jump to the to this end. Okay. Well done. Once you're done with that, you're going into body armor. Now the giant set mm -hmm. of few rounds of it, you're going to start with some walking lunges again, right? So if you have got um, some mobility issues, you are going to get in your front rack or you just want to move. You're going to put it in your front rack. If you want to can, you are going to get it overhead and do overhead walk lunges with it, okay? So, if you, beautiful. So you're going to start by doing 15 meters on the one side, right? If you don't have uh, enough space to accumulate 15 meters, just do stationary lunges. Essentially, you're stepping forward getting that knee down and back up, okay? If you are doing walking lunges, just make sure that you extend all the way before you take the next step, okay? So 15 meters on the one side. Then 
from there, perfect march, so you're doing it overhead, that's what it would look like. From there, if that was the right hand side, you're going to go for dead lifts with your right arm or your left arm as Martin was using his left arm. You're going to do 15 dead lifts on the same side, okay? So pop your hips back, touch the weight to the floor, stand all the way up. Beautiful. You don't have to use the same weight if you've got a variety of weights, you can do different weights for this one. And then you're going to swap sides. So now, other side, you must turn around if you didn't notice there, so you put the weight in this other hand. Either on your shoulder or in an overhead position, 15 lunges or 15 meters worth of lunges. Very nice. Both positions um, demonstrated nicely there by Mart. And then finally, your 15 leg ones. Okay. Once you've completed a round, you can take a bit of a rest and then pop back to that first um, side again. Okay. Well then, chaps. We hope you enjoy. We hope you enjoy. Bye.